without no kidneys for almost 23, 24 years. And Alhamdulillah was in a coma for almost three days when he came to Atlanta. And Alhamdulillah yesterday, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aided him to be coming back from the coma. And while we were there in the in the room, <coughs> the next the room next to it, the person that was in the ICU just died. <coughs> and also Alhamdulillah we say it is from our belief that the malaika of death, the angel of, of death, Malakul Maut, just visited the room and we were in the next room. This is why Ida Ja Ajaluha La Yu Akhar if the Yani the the Ajal meaning the time for the slave comes and there will be no Al Istiqdam, there will be no to precede it, no to delay it. But rather the Malaika will follow only that order that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him. And this is why Alhamdulillah that we should not <coughs> We should be mindful of doing whatever it is, the action that we think that we can be having the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah ta'ala from the virtue of, and this is something that Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, <coughs> if we all remember that hadith, that one day the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked all this question, who has this, this, who has did this, who has did this, and Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, because of his zeal of yani, ple- pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the he was the only one that answered all the questions by saying yes I did this I did this, and the Prophet ﷺ he mentioned that there is no one that has completed these deeds in one day, except that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has will ask him will allow him to choose to any door or any gates of the Jannah to enter from. So Alhamdulillah it is very praiseworthy to Walillah Alhamdulillah to take us our times inshallah ta'ala to go to the hospitals and visit our brothers or for the sisters to visit the sisters with tabaraka wa ta'ala for indeed it increased alhamdulillah the patient in yani his hope and also it increased the love that they would have or they should have between them so ala kulli hal this from the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we are healthy and we go in our business we go and buy our business and we alhamdulillah do whatever we want to do or say whatever we want to say because we are not restrained on a hospital bed or what not so we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this tremendous ni'mah while well, you have people that Allah give them health and wealth but rather they are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with it so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who be very thankful of his favors and they will utilize his favors to achieve his favor the greatest favor which is to see his face yawm al-qiyam so walillah alhamdulillah walmin we started the book that is called Ma'ana at-Tarut the meaning of the false deities and as Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala has mentioned they say that the Tarut Yan Qasim as Ibn al Qayyim Rahimahullah mentioned, they say that the Tarut they are many, but the Ru'usuhum Khamsa. But those the head of them or the major Tarut or Tawarit they are of five. But before that, Shaykh Fawzan Hafizahullah Ta'ala he explained where was that word Tarut coming from? And he say it is coming from the word that is uh, that is called Turyan and we say Turyan is Mujawazatul Had Turyan is when the individual he goes over the limits so he say the Tarut and wa there are many types of Tarut but a'zamu at-Tarut man ubida aw man yu'badu min dunillah and he say that the greatest Tarut is those that I have been worshipped وَهُوَ رَادٍ بِذَلِكَ Those who have been worshipped besides Allah and they are pleased with that worship and Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he gave us a fine detail yani, from the Tarut and he said that the Tarut they are many 
and the head of them are five, or the major part of the Tawarid, they are five. He said the first one was Iblis Lanatullahi alayhi. And the second one was worse Waman Ubida wahuwa radin bidalika and whoever is worshipped and he is pleased and happy with it. Waman da'a nas ila aba ila ibadati nafsihi. And the, the third one is those who call the people to worship them. And number four is Wamani Da'a ilmul Ghaib. And the other Tarut, the false deity, are those who call that or those who ascribe themselves that they have the knowledge of the unseen. And number five, last but not least, from the five major Tarut false deity is Waman Hakama Bihri Ma Anzalallah. That those who rule other than that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, i.e. the Quran and the Sunnah. So the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala he has given the explanation of yani, the first one is known that Iblis la'anatullahi alayhi But as far as the, sa- the, the second one is man ubida wa huwa radin bidhalika That whoever is being worshipped and he is pleased with it He say amma man ubida wa huwa ghayr radin bidhalika fa huwa la yusamma tarutan He say fal malaykata ubidu min dunillah lakin lam yardaw bidhalika ولا يأمرون به يسأل والمسيح ابن مريم رسول الله عبد من دون الله وهو ينهى عن ذلك في حياته ويتبرأ من أصحابه فلا يعد أو فلا يعد تاغوتا الشيء رحمه الله explaining the first the second تاغوت meaning those who be worship and they please with the worship he say that it is that those who ever are being worship and they please with the worship but he say, as those who are being worshipped and they are not pleased with the worship that they ascribe to, he say, those will not be called the Tarut. And the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala gave us the example of the Malaika. He said, the Malaika, indeed people worship them, but them they are not pleased with the worship they have been established for. That they as people establish them for them. And he say, they do not order them neither. And he say that the Messenger, the messenger Isa alayhi salatu was salam, the son of Mary, he said that he is being worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But him, he prohibited the people from doing so. And he distanced himself from those at his time when he was alive, from those who were used to take him as a rival to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore we will not name him to be a tarut. So the second, the third one is, Man idda'a nas, or man da'a nas ila ibadati nafsihi. Those who call the people to worship them. And he say, لِأَنَّ بَعْدُ تَغُوتُ يَأْمُرُ النَّاسِ بِأَنْ يَعْبُدُوهُ He say that some of the people, they, you, they call the people to, uh, to, to worship them. They order the people to worship them. They advise the people to worship them. And he say, إِنَّهُ يَسَتِيعُ أَنْ يَنْفَعُهُمْ وَيَضُرُّهُمْ And the reason why they call the people to worship them, because they tell them that they have the ability to benefit them. And they also have similarly the ability to harm them. And they will even mention to them that come on to me that I will be able to bring khair to you, to bring good to you, and also to wave off evil from you. And he say, Kama alayhi al-yawm at-taghut. And he say, as it is today, the ways of the people of the shuyukh of the sawuf, meaning the heads of the, sh- the sufiyya, wa mashayikh al-sufiyya, and the leaders of the, of the, of the sufiyya, the sufi order. He say, al-ladhina yaz'umuna annahum yuhaqiquna liman indahum mutalibatihim, mutalibatihim. He say that they claim, fortly claim, that they have the ability to bring in reality that which is the need of the people. وَأَنَّهُمْ يَتَصَلَّلُونَ بِاللَّهِ مُبَاشَرَةً That them that they connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right away. وَيَأْخُذُونَ عَنِ اللَّهِ مُبَاشَرَةً And he say that they claim, faultly claim, that they take from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right away. Meaning they don't have no, yani, uh, no waiting time. They, they want it, they will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala physically and be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And which is a lie that they have yani, lied against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they went to the extent to say, Hum yaqulun, إِذَا مِتُّ And they even say, If I die, لَا يَمْنَعُكُمْ مِن دُعَائِي وَالْإِسْتِغَاثَةِ وَالْإِسْتِغَاثَةِ بِي 
They say that to the point that if they will tell the people in their life, when while they are alive, before they die, that if I die, he say a hand span of dirt, meaning if I die and they bury me, he say let that let that not prevent you from asking protection from me or from making dua to me. He say why? Halumu ila qabri wa talabu minni wa ana aghithukum. He say that come on to my grave or worship or come to my grave, come near to my grave, direct yourself to my grave and talabu minni and so seek from me that I will aid you and that I will assist you. He say because I have the ability and they will name all the things wa ana wa ana meaning I have the possibility to do this. I have the ability to do this, do that. The Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala he say Hada Da'a Nasa ila ibadati nafsihi. Such an individual he is calling the people to worship him. He say Fahua Ta'utun. So individual like this he is what? He is a Ta'ut meaning a false deity. Warabi'an manida il ilmu al ghaybi. The fourth one is that the individual that claimed that he has knowledge of the unseen. And he say, وَهُوَ كَاهِنٌ Did we read this last week? No. And he say, وَهُوَ كَاهِنٌ So the, f- the new print today, inshallah, is meaning those, the fourth category, those who say that they claim that they have the knowledge of the unseen. He say, وَهُوَ كَاهِنٌ And it is the soothsayer or the magician or whoever is in regard claiming that they know the unseen. He say he say at kuhanun kama yaqulu ba'd salaf He say some of the salaf they even define the taghut to be the kahin meaning the one that 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 claim that they have the knowledge of the unseen or the palm reader or the, the what you call those uh, the root work like the brother will say or those who claim that they have knowledge of the unseen meaning they know what is happening what's going to happen in the next minute or they know what's going to happen in the future or they know what's going to happen you know what I'm saying in the fi- in the near future and in the far future so he says some of the salaf they used to say the, ka- the, 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 the kuhan meaning those who say to be the tarut and he say kanat tanzilu alayhim shaytan he say because of the shaytan will descend on them so they were named Tarut because the shaitan will come to them, will descend on them. Meaning by giving them information or one none or by advising. And he said, وَكْفِي كُلِّ حَيٍّ مِنْ أَحْيَاءِ الْعَرَبِ مِنْهُمْ وَاحِدٍ And he say at every neighborhood from the neighborhood or every locale from the places. Then he say with the Arabs, he say مِنْهُمْ wahid That you will have one of them. So this is, alhamdulillah, not only pretending to the Arabs. But you go to the Muslim land today, Barakallahu Fikum. Every single corner that you have, you have someone that is up there that claims to have knowledge of the unseen. So it is not restricted to the Arabs only. But rather, wherever you go from the Muslim land, that you will have people that claim that they have the knowledge of the unseen. For every single corner, for every single, like he say, وَفِي كُلِّ حَيٍّ مِنْ أَحْيَاءِ الْعَرَبِ From every, every neighborhood, from every places and locale, from the Arabs. And not only from the Arabs, but rather it is everywhere. And if it is present in the, in the lands of the Muslim, then forget about the lands of the Kuffar. So he say, Falkuhan Tawarit. He say, Verily, those who are the soothsayer that they are Tarut, they are false deity. He say, Limada. Why? He say, Lianahum Yadda'una Ilmul Ghaib. الَّذِي إِخْتَصَّ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى بِهِ He say, why are they being named, the ta- uh, why they are Tarut? Because they are claiming that they have knowledge of the unseen. And he say, this knowledge of, uh, of the unseen, إِخْتَصَّ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى بِهِ Because this knowledge of the unseen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has restricted to himself. This knowledge of the unseen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has restricted to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Jinn, He say, عَالِمُ الْغَيْبِ فَلَا يُظْهِرُ عَلَى غَيْبِهِ أَحَدًا He say, Allah is the one that has knowledge of the unseen. And He say, He is not presented that knowledge of the unseen to nobody. Allah has the knowledge of the unseen. He is only the only one that has the knowledge of the unseen. فَلَا يُظْهِرُ عَلَى غَيْبِهِ أَحَدًا Al Izhar bimana ish. What is the meaning of Izhar? From those who do in the class in in the in the in the 
in the tajweed al izhar to make it known clarify it al bayan al izhar is al bayan to make it known he say fala yuzhiruhu allah doesn't make it known or allah doesn't explain it completely he say ala ghaybihi ahadan to nobody and this is so to jinn verse number 26 27 to the other verse he say illa man irtada except the whom he is pleased with min rasulin from his what from his messengers except to whom he pleases from his messengers so when he say here from his messengers that it comprises both messengers the rusul min al bashar wa rusul min al min al malaika from the prophets of the human beings and from the prophets of the of the of the angel na'am so therefore the next point out this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he say that alimul ghaib he is the one that has the knowledge of the unseen fala yuzhiru ala ghaybihi ahada and he will not clarify or he will not give the details or he will not make it known meaning the ghaib to nobody to nobody ala ghaybihi ahada so here he's making a total negation of the na- the, the, the knowledge of the ghaib for everyone but now here he is bringing the ithbat here he is bringing the nafi ilm al ghaib he is denying the complete knowledge of the ghaib to everybody and then he comes to say except illa man irtada min rasulin except those that he is pleased from his prophets so here even the prophets not all of them has this what we were about to mention from the knowledge from from the word from right from because here min min rasulin illa man irtada tayyib illa man irtada min rasulin so here also barakallahu fikum we will know that it is not all the ghaib that the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it known to the to the prophets and, and, and to the prophets from the jinn and i mean from the from the prophets from the angels and their bashar the human beings but it is not all of them but rather those who is pleased meaning that he has chosen to give them the knowledge of the ghaib but here barakallahu fikum what is important to say is what Sheikh Fawzan hafizahullah is about to say and which deserve really our int- attention he say fa qad yatla'u Allah ala ba'di he say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has exposed some of the ghaibiyat some of the ghaibiyat meaning some of the issues that are hidden he say li masalih ad-da'wati ila Allah for some of the ghaib or meaning what we call the mu'jiza in the sequence he say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has indeed exposed to some of his mughaybiyat meaning some of his na- secrets of the unseen li maslahat ad-da'wati ila Allah because to facilitate the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in other word Allah has given some portion of the ghaib to some of the prophets because of li maslahat ad-da'wa to yani to aid them in spreading the da'wa he say wa takuna mu'jizatan lahu so that portion of the ghaib being known to them is a what is a miracle so that is a miracle and also look at this point he say wa dalilu ala sidqihi li maslahati an-nas he say also this is to be a proof for their truthfulness in benefiting in aiding the people to accept the truth for instance how is it that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam would be able to inform the people of a matter that he never witnessed of a matter he never witnessed he would inform them to the point that they can describe it to the dot how is that and he never seen this or how is it the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how can he relate the matters that are from the past generation the past time the past the previous nations because this also is from the ghaib how is it the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam can relate to us the matters of the hereafter 
the matters of the graves, the matters of the punishment of the grave, the matters of the bliss in the grave, the matters of the, uh, uh, the, the, the passing by the Sirat, or the matters of being in the Jannah, the matters of entering the Jannah, the matters of in, in the hellfire, the matters of the people of the Tawheed. It doesn't matter yani, if they have sins, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will co- can cause them to enter the hellfire for the need of that which they have done of wrong. How is it possible the Prophet Sallallahu is informing us about these matters that are from the ghaib? So he say here, لِمَسْلَحَةِ nas For the pe- for the to benefit the people, to accept the truth, and also to yani, testify the truth that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is upon. He say, illa. He say, but we, be, we have to, no- to notice, to notify. He say, فَالْغَيْبُ لَا يَعْلَمُهُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ that the, na- the unseen is not known to nobody but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qul la ya'alamu man fi samawati wal ard al ghayb illa Allah. He says, say to them, O Muhammad, that none knows the unseen, meaning none from the samawat, from the heavens to the earth, none known the unseen except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But look at this point. He say even those the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a portion of the unseen. But why he gave them the portion of the unseen? The shaykh he gave two reasons. He say, لِمَسْلَحَةِ الدَّعْوَ لِلنَّاسِ To ease up the people in when he calling them. And also, وَالدَّلِيلَ عَلَى صِدْقِهِ To be a proof for his truthfulness. لِمَسْلَحَةِ nas For the benefit of the people to accept the, the truth, meaning the, the deen. He say, until even the prophets were rusul. He say, وَالرَّسُولَ أَلَّذِي عَلِمَ شَيْئًا مِنَ الْغَيْبِ لَمْ يَعْلَمُهُ أَصْلًا He say, even the Prophet that Allah has given the knowledge of the, the portion of the knowledge of the unseen, he say, by na- naturally, by essence, he did not know that unseen. Until and unless the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَإِنَّمَا عَلِمَهُ بِإِطْلَاعِ اللَّهِ لَهُ عَلَيْهِ He only knowed it, knew it, knew it when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it the knowledge, has exposed the knowledge of the unseen to him. He say, فَلَا يَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He say that none has the knowledge of the unseen except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is, فَمَا بَالُ الَّذِي دَعَى أَنَّ شَيْخُهُ أَطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِ مَا سَيَكُونُ أَوْ مَا كَانَ فِي لَوْحِ الْمَحْفُوظِ how about the individual that say that his shaykh has shown him every single detail that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in the lawhul mahfuz. And he is from the Sufi, from the Murid. He say that indeed his shaykh on a Thursday night came to him in a dream. And it's amazing that all of their issues is about a dream. He say that his shaykh came to him in a dream on Thursday night. And also this is another trick they bring in to Thursday night. Because they hold the Thursday night to be a very, you know, very specific time. <laughs> and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he say, do not, take, do, not take, do not take special acts of worship on a Thursday night, meaning Friday night. Do not meaning Friday, Friday night, meaning when you say tomorrow will be Juma, So that's Friday night, right? So that's, ter- that's Friday night in Islam. So he said, do not pick and choose specific ibadah that you will be doing on Thursday, on Friday night only. So he said that he shared appeared to him on Thursday, on Friday night. And he told him and clarified to him and gave him all the details of what is in the law al-mahfuz. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, إِلَّا مَنِ ارْتَضَى مِنْ رَسُولٍ Except those from his prophets that he is con- he is pleased with giving them the knowledge of the p- portion of the knowledge of the unseen, and this is only لمسلحات الدعوة because of a need for the call that Allah the messengers are calling them to Allah, and also what دليله على صدقي and also a proof that he is a truthful one for the also the benefit of the people. So therefore we say that وَالَّذِي وَالرَّسُولِ and the Prophet الَّذِي عَلِمَ شَيْئًا مِنَ الْغَيْبِ لَمْ يَعْلَمُهُ أَصْلًا So this is important. It's very important. To say that the Prophet that Allah has given the knowledge of that unseen 
was not knowledgeable of it before Allah gave it to him. So by asl, by the foundation, by the source, by what is normal, he did not have knowledge of it until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it to him. In other words, the Prophet sallallahu did not know the issue of the azab al-qabr until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed him of the existence of the azab al-qabr. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa did not know that when a person die and he's that the individual will be able to hear the footstep fading out until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed him of that matter. So therefore we know فَلَا يَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ that none, none know, the, know the unseen except Allah. And like what the Shaykh rahimahullah ta'ala was saying he said at every corner of a neighborhood you will find somebody that claim that they have the knowledge of the unseen. But we will even say that every house that you go you have people that claim that they have knowledge of the unseen. Because they have this called, the, the, what you call those, a uh, quarry? Yeah, the quarry. The quarry. So they have this, it's like a, sh- it's like a she sh- shell, right? These are the she shell. It's like white and small that they use. And they will be using it to, yani, uh, to, to read the unseen. Now some of them, they will be using water to read the unseen. Some of them, they will use sand to read the unseen. When they use the sand, they will lay it straight, flat, you know, and make sure that there is nothing on it. There is no other, you know, uh, extra elements on it, you know. And they will be taking their finger, which is the index, right, the sab- uh, sabaha, and they will make in dots, odd dots, right. They will make like columns of dots, right. And then from those dots, they will be reading based on how the dots comes, because not all the dots will be the same, right. Because if you take a, la- a piece of sand, a piece of cloth, you put some sand on it, and you will be putting your, 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 your index on it. Not all the, 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 the spots will have the same length, nor the same width. Because sometimes maybe you might you know, press it harder, sometimes you might press it lighter. So based on those dots, this is how they will be reading it. Just like you have those that read from the palm, from the crystal ball, right? That's how you call it from the crystal ball. So all this app matters. You have some that will be reading your the ghayb from your hand, from the palm of your hand. They will look at the palm of your hand and they'll be looking at how this yani this what you call this uh this 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 marks on our hands, right? This finger what you call it the finger tips or the yani the, the the fingerprints, right? How it is being in our hands because not all of us have the same one. So they will look at it and they will be able to tell you certain things. So you, or some of them will be look, they will be looking at the feet, how the feet are being placed, and they will be telling you how is this or how is that. Some of them they will be using that they thicker bees to tell you from from yani what they will be lying on Allah subhanahu wa taala. So they have many forms and many variety, many ways that they are yani reading quote unquote the feature wal billah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Shaykh Mahur mentioned, He said, فَلَا يَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He said that none knows the unseen except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again mentioned in Surah Al-Jinn, verse number 26 to 27, He said, عَالِمُ الْغَيْبِ That He is Allah that has knowledge of the unseen. فَلَا يُظْظَهِرُ عَلَى غَيْبِهِ أَحَدًا He said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not expose that ghayb to nobody. He said, إِلَّا except مَنِ ارْتَضَى Min Rasul, min Rasulin, except those from the prophets that he is pleased with, meaning that he has chosen to do it. And we say the prophets mean here the prophets from the malaika and the human and the bashar from the people. <coughs> so even Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam doesn't have knowledge of the unseen until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the knowledge of the unseen. Likewise, the malaika, malakul maut, for instance, he doesn't have a sheet. Right? Whenever he was created, he didn't have like the outline of everybody when they were going to be dying. No. Allah subhanahu This is the ghayb also. وَمَا تَدْرِي مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَى وَمَا تَدْرِي بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتِ That none of us, none of you know what, and this is complete. Meaning from the human being and from the, uh, from the whole creation. That you don't know what's going to happen the next five minutes. No, you don't know the land that you will die. So to show what time you will die. So therefore this is yashtamil lil malaika wal ins wal jinn hatta So therefore this is everybody take part of it meaning not knowing the unseen not knowing the unseen 
He say Amma al Kuhan wa Shayatin. He say as far as the <coughs> the two say in the Shayatin, Faha Ulai he say say Faha Ulai Kazabatun. He say as this individual they are liars. Walakin Yahsuluna ala Shayin min al Ghaybi bi wasaiti al istiraq al Sama. He say but they will be having a very minute portion of the Ghaib by way of how they will be overhearing certain information. And remember the hadith when the Sheikh Rahimahullah is saying this, he is giving reference to when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he mentioned <coughs> he mentioned that what the jinn will be doing that they will be going on the heavens of the earth. And they will be overhearing the conversation that is going on with the Malaika from the orders of Allah. And they will hear one thing and they will run away with it and they will mix it with a hundred lies. And who they will be giving it to? To the Kahin, to the Kuhan, to the Susayah. This is why they, the Susayah they are what? They are Taghut. Remember the Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala he say why the, su- the Susayah they are being a Taghut? He say because that لِأَنَّهُمْ يَأْتُوا He say At-Taghut He say كَانَتْ تَنْزِلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الشَّيْطَانِ Because the shaitan will come to them So this why that they are being the Taghut So he say here بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ They will have one truth that they will say But they will mix it with a hundred lies So now بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ if one was about to have a hundred lie, he has one lie, and he has a hundred, yeah, and he, uh, he has one truth, and he has a hundred lie mixed together. The chance that he has to pick the lies are far greater than the chance that he will have to pick up the truth. It's just like a ruffle. I should call it ruffle. The ruffle, right? Huh? The ruffle, yeah, the ruffle, right? When you, let's say, put the tickets in, and you only have one winning ticket. You have, let's say, a million ticket, and you have only one winning ticket. You have more chances. You have a mil- You have ninety-nine hundred thousand chance to pick up the not winning ticket, the non-winning ticket, than to pick up the winning ticket. So here, the the the, 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 the Kuhan, they will hear one truth from the jinn that will give them one truth, but they will mix it with a hundred lies, and this is how also they will captivate the people. Because you will come, they will tell you who your father is, or what you have, Aiden and stuff like that. So they will capture you with this. So you'll be amazed how this, indivi- this individual, he really, he is really the man. He really know the unseen. Because he's telling me about, you know, where I come from. Or he's telling me about what I ate yesterday. So for you now, whatever he will say, you will believe in it. billah. Because you hold it to be the truth, because of this one truth that he has, he has, he has tell you. So this complete barakallahu fikum the f- the aspect number 4 from or the fourth example from the the um, from the from the taghut which are those who claim that they have knowledge of the unseen and bi idhnillahi ta'ala if Allah give us life inshallah ta'ala next week we will be completing the khamis the number 5 of those who are the taghut meaning those who man hakama bi ghayri ma anzal Allah those who barak Allah al-jamiya they rule by other than that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure the sick of uh, the sick ones of us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the deceased one of us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow those of us that are alive to be upon what is correct and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow those of us that are sinful and no doubt all of us are sinful to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawbat al nasukha because for verily it is from the legal or the legislative command that we seek tawbah from Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he say ya ayyuha alladhina amanu tubu ila Allah tubu ila Allah he say oh you who believe yani seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or repent to Allah so this is an order from Allah that we have to repent and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow our good doers to have ikhlas in their actions. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow the afflicted ones of us from us to be patient in their affliction. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aid and increase those sa'ilin, meaning those who have requests or those who have needs. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assist them in their needs And may Allah assist those who assist in those who are in need And to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on the success If I made a mistake May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify me And rectify me May Allah rectify you If there is anything that we can read over to this That is not understood Bi'ithnillah ta'ala We can read it over Bi'ithnillah Naam <coughs>